Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. In this video, we are going to see about reciprocal labeling. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. We have already seen the error due to curvature. I have the link to it in the description box below. In this video, we are going to see how we can eradicate it. You can see that we have a river here. I already know the reduce level at A. I need to find the reduce level at B. Uh, since this is a river, I can't place my leveling stuff here. If I can place it here, uh, the distance will be less and therefore my error due to curvature will also be less. Since this is a river, I have to place it only in the bank. Since the distance is increased, my error due to curvature becomes prominent. This can be eradicated using reciprocal leveling. Reciprocal leveling is where we uh, take readings of two points from two different stations. So my points are A and B. I've, I have already set up my leveling stuffs there. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my auto level or dumpy level, my leveling instrument very near to the station which I already know. I know I already know the RL of A. I'm setting up my level very close to it. From here, I'm going to take readings of station A and B. So when I place it very near to A, there will be no curvature error here since the distance is very less. So the answer which I'm going to get here, that is the reading which I get from the leveling staff is going to be my true reading. There will be no error due to curvature. Whereas when I'm taking the reading here, the distance is increased. Because of that, there will occur a curvature error. You can see that this is my horizontal line. This dotted line is my line of sight. Line of sight is what we see from the telescope of our level. And this is my level line. We already know that the reading corresponding to our level line is only our true reading. But our line of sight, it gives some other reading. Uh, but uh, due to the curvature error, our level line will be below it. So, in order to find the true reading, I have to subtract these two. HB is the reading which I have got from the line of sight. From uh, HB is the value which I see through the telescope. But my level line lies here due to curvature error. So, my true reading is going to be HB minus the curvature error. Similarly, we are going to set up this station. The uh, leveling instrument very close to B in the next uh, set of readings. Since I am placing the instrument very close to B, the reading which I am going to get from this stuff is going to be free from any curvature error. Whereas, uh, when I take the reading in this stuff, there will occur a curvature error and therefore my true reading will be similar to this case. It will be something like HA dash minus E. And another thing you have to note here is this is HA, HB, HB dash, HA dash. The readings taken uh, from the station close to the point which we don't know the RL. We don't know the RL of B, right? The readings taken uh, with the station placed near that point has dash values in it. So I have to find the level difference between these two points. From that I can find the RL of this. In order to find the level difference, we have to simply uh, subtract the uh, staff readings. So my staff reading and the first for the first case is HA minus my true reading. So it is HA minus HB minus E which gives me HA minus HB plus E. From for this case it is HA dash minus E minus of HB dash which will be HA HA dash minus HB dash minus E this is equal to the level difference say it is H so we have something like H is equal to this H is equal to this but we only know the values of HA, HB, HA dash and HB dash we don't know the values of E. So in order to eliminate these two things, this is plus, minus. In order to eliminate these two things, we are going to add our case 1 and 2. Solution, my our equations 1 and 2. So this will give us H plus H is 
टू हेच इज इक्वल टू ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग दीज थिंग्स दीज टू विल गेट कैंसल प्लस एंड माइनस विल कैंसल ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग वी विल गेट हेच ए माइनस हेच बी प्लस हेच ए डैश माइनस हेच बी डैश दिस कैन बी इवन मोर सिंप्लीफाइड एस हेच इज इक्वल टू हाफ इंटू हेच ए माइनस हेच बी प्लस हेच ए डैश माइनस हेच बी डैश सो नॉ Uh, I need to find the value of uh, b. I need to find the R L of b. First, we have to substitute all the values and get h. Now, if my h is positive, then my R L of b, that is the R L of the station which I don't know. This is a small trick here to save time for you. If my h is positive, then the R L of b is going to be my R L of a plus h. If h is negative, then R L of b is equal to R L of a minus h. This will save you lots of time in the exam. As you have to use the logic and find the R L, this will help you even more. So now, if they were asked the error due to collimation, then you can uh, this uh, simply modifying this formula will give you the answer. It is. H is equal to the same one by two into H A minus H B, but here it is minus minus H A dash minus H B dash. Now uh, to understand this better, let us look into a problem. This problem was asked in Gate two thousand seven. The problem goes like this: The following measurements were made during testing of a leveling instrument. Instrument at P and Q. Staff reading at P dash Q dash. The values are given. P one is close to P. Q one is close to Q. If the radius level of station P is hundred meters, the radius level of station Q is how much? They are given you options. This is a two mark question. It is uh, as you can see, it is simply formula substitution. You, we know the R L of P, so the staff reading uh, notations will be A B. We don't know the value of Q, so it is a dash, b dash. On substituting it in our formula, h is equal to one by two into h a dash my, uh, minus, sorry, h a minus h b plus h a dash minus h b dash. This one by two into h a minus h b is. Uh, two point eight minus one point seven, which is one point one, plus h a dash minus h b dash two point seven minus one point eight, which is point nine. So this is one by two into two. So the difference h is one. Uh, so since it is positive. My R L of unknown, that is the R L of B, is going to be. We I know the R L of A is hundred. See R L of B is going to be hundred plus since it's positive plus one, which is equal to one out one. Hmm. Equal to one out one meters. This is our answer. Option C. If you like this video, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It will really motivate me. See you guys in the next video. Bye.